Yo, what up? It's Moses Gang, and this is a reaction to The Rowdy Rebel No Jumper interview, man uh, Shout out to the Hoovers Shout out to the 60s Shout out to all the neighborhoods and all the gangsters And the 20s, of course Shout out to... Um, all the Serenio. Shout out to everybody in L.A., man. I live in L.A. I love in L.A. I pay taxes out this uh, piece, as we used to say in the 90s. I just want to do a reaction to it just to see what bro's going to say. Uh, don't hurt me, bro. Let's get it, man. We will be, we will be indulging in some... Um, this video is sponsored by Jack in the Box. I'm not about to do the whole thing right now because I'm not even supposed to be awake. I got to go to work, but I can't sleep. So uh, let's get it, man. Bang. Damn. Embarrassing me in front of my friends, man. Damn, man. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, we got the hottest topic. Or at least one of You made it the hottest topic, dude. What are you talking about? You can't blame me for your own actions. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy Rebel in the building, smoking Big Za. It's the word. Hey, Chef Cola. How you feeling? I'm chilling. What's going on? Cola. Close I, a bit. I think I speak for a, for a lot of the LGBT. Hold on. My bad. I got to get some... I gotta get some barbecue sauce, man. My bad, man. I gotta get some. Damn, it's like that, and that's the way it is. Mmm. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wait, hold up. I'm sure I got some. Okay, well, God is uh, good sometimes, cause I ran out of uh, I ran out of barbecue sauce, man. I ran out of LGBT barbecue sauce, man. Large percentage of LA. My bad. Well, we just want to know, you know, what's going on. The SMD thing. Heard a lot of feelings out here. No, I only had your feelings. No, actually, I really didn't give a. F it was mostly the grumpy older gang members who were offended. Who was offended? <laughs> Well, I don't want to put names felt, on Nobody it. felt offended until you try to make niggas feel offended. You th you're blaming me? New York, I was sucking my dick as every, sucking my dick like this. Okay, I'm going to do the history for you. Bro, shout out to New York, but um, you got to be a gay, well, excuse me. You have to be a very different thinking type of person to think that saying, Suck my dick is regular. We don't. S hey, man. New York basically <laughs> were pioneers. What is that? Is New York. Suck my dick is every. Suck my dick like this. Okay. I'm going to do the regular? history for you. It's regular. New York basically were pioneers no bueno. in considering suck my dick to be extremely offensive. When we think about mm -hmm. where it's considered. That's offensive in everywhere. What you mean? The most offensive to invite somebody to your penis? I feel like New York kind of pioneered that. Now, granted, that was a long time ago when I feel like Jay-Z like, had some quotes back in the day where he really made it clear that if somebody invited them to his debate, he was done. He would never communicate with them again. That's the, the situation that I viewed it from. I viewed it as a more serious statement coming from a New Yorker than I would have viewed it from as a, uh, a Californian saying the same thing. So what were you thinking when you posted that up? I was, I was just being me. Just yeah, where did that come from? Because niggas, a lot of people thought it was because of, like, in, re in response to, like, the Pop Smoke, uh, Blockstar interview. Oh, no, I just said that because it's like, that's, you know why? Yeah, see, look, this is, 
Young people, you know, it's good to feel good. It's great to feel great. But if you have to put something in your body besides water and for the ladies, you know, you know what I mean. Bro, y'all have to be sober, man. Let's get it, man. This, <laughs> nigga, this nigga's on a whole different planet. He's on the planet I'd never want to be on, bro. What's up with bro? You know why I said that? I don't f with niggas that happen with, bro. That's that. Like, I'm not out here looking for niggas on some, like, oh, I don't know, that's some stupid shit, but I'm f with y'all, nigga. Like, was violent, took my bro, like, took my. But to the whole gang. Huh? Not to one member. You said the who. So whoever is part of that shit, I mean, he, whoever he is with, nigga, that's, that's who I was meant to fool, like. For me, because like when a bro explained it to me, like it's different sets and pe certain people don't have shit to do with it. It's like, all right, cool, granted. Mm -hmm. Like, but the niggas who do got something to do with it is like, all right, fuck yeah, for me. You know, it ain't, it ain't nothing that's hidden. But you could have said Block Star suck. SMD. I don't know his name. Like, I'm now. You didn't watch the interview. No, why would I watch the interview? Uh, just to find out what people were talking about in regards to... I don't really want to sit there and start looking at boy face for too long. Really? No. So you hold it against its... Hey, okay, but you don't got to watch a nigga interview to know his name, you know? Um, and if he said he did it, he did it, and you know he said he did it. So you didn't have to say... Well, what the, the the thing about it is that there are Hoovers in New York. There are Hoovers more than likely in surrounding areas such as Cleveland, um, New Jersey. I know there's Hoovers in Jersey. What's the other states are surrounding? Um, Vermont. I don't know anything. Anything pretty much above New York. I don't know. Besides, like New Hampshire. In like Vermont, Maine, Rhode Island. I'm not trying to count them guys out. I, one of the homies, he was a rolling twenties from Rhode Island, Connecticut. You know, um, but that's just not a good look because there's people in that same organization that might feel something, and you might. I don't know what this nigga. I don't know if he's a blood or a crib or if he's a neutron. He's definitely not a, he's definitely not a GD, but, um, whatever he represents, if he represents anything, that could cause issues, and there could be more, you know, black men not waking up the next day. Even though he was a child when that shit took place. It don't matter. What are you doing, Robin? Like, the homeboy, like, like we from New York, I right, cool, but, like, we just looked at it like a lick. We didn't look at it like, oh, this is for me one of the homeboys that's coming up. He didn't look at it like that, so I'm not looking at you as he was a child, no. To be fair though, he said he didn't even know it was a rapper. He thought it was a model or some oh, shit. Whatever, man. He was like fuck fifteen. Man. Oh, give a fuck. Yeah. But you but so when you said that you was more so just talking towards it, like him and his people type shit. It wasn't because the wild so broad though, wild like uh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't from L.A., bro. I got, no, I you wrong. From you did say that Hoover it was, was just like, SMB like, and also L.A. It was like, I'm out of here. Like, so my thing was good. Like, yeah. for me, to me, it was a, it was a joke. To y'all, I don't know why y'all took it like that. For me, but I think that's what it is. We live in fear of the Hoovers. It's a scary organization. <laughs> they, they, they hold shit down. They get busy. We've all seen it. So when we saw that, yeah, we took it as kind of like a... No disrespect um, to the Hoovers, but... I'm not from LA, and we don't have Hoovers where I, where I grew up. Crazy provocation, and that it would have been considered kind of loose if you had just said it about the Hoovers, but you said LA as a whole, so that was what. Unfortunately, I think it set off a lot of people. Nah, what LA man? I gotta stop that. <laughs> yeah, cause you live in LA, don't it? Whatever, mm -hmm. LA, New York, I'm back and forth. I even said New York, so my wife felt the way. I didn't see that. Hold on, but man. you can say it about your own neck of the woods, yeah. right? Yeah. Hold on. Come right now. I'll tell Dolo my side. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. And so it wasn't no backlash, though, besides, like, internet trolls and shit? Like, no, no, L.A. niggas hit you? Like, what's up with this or nothing? 
they hit the bro and shit and like like and like explain to me how like the sexes and shit like it's different branch off and shit. I'm like, all right, it's shit cool. Because you're connected with the Crips out here a little bit, right? Yeah, like I fuck with the homeboys, I fuck the homies. I fuck, I'm but listen, bro. Like at the end of the day, like I woke up, so what I said on some playful shit. Whoever took it away, don't take it away, bro. With all the niggas, I don't fuck with you. You know like and that's that, bro. Like, you feel me? But I think people were shocked by it because you made it seem like you were saying that when you were on the way out of town. Nobody knew that you like lived here until this whole thing starts up. But so this nigga forgot he lived in L.A. I kind of did too when I said that. But, bro, you gotta chill out. You gotta chill out with them D-Rugs. It's not good for you. It's no one on. Chill out, man. What you doing, bro? So people are looking at that and they're thinking, oh, Roddy has this reputation as a street dude, but now he's basically saying, I'm out of here, so suck my dick. People don't respect that. They, they would respect you to say, hey, I'm in town. Everybody, suck my dick. I'm here. But when you say, like, I'm mm. out of here, suck my dick, I think they took oh, that right, as some weird thing. I suck my dick. Like, if like, all right, whatever, man. I, I, I feel it out. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> So Wack took it as disrespect. The word in the oh, oh, why would he take it as disrespect? Because like, <laughs> you said L.A. Wow, come on, Wack. You're not even like repping L.A. hard. Like. Oh, he's a West Coast soldier for sure. Well, I can't go to that I walk with the homies. That's some other shit. That's like me asking you why you didn't go to some crip march in Manhattan. It's like Manhattan's a million miles away, if but it makes it's still sense, New York. I'm, if, I'm, if it makes sense, I'm pushing up. If it got certain bros that's going there, and it makes sense, I'm pushing up. He runs his mouth about YG all the fucking time on Clubhouse, so I feel like him going to that march, really? it, he would have been why the trending he even topic. his mouth all the time? Like, why, why are you even jumping and shit and even, like, say certain things? Like, okay. Even when you said, like, all right, he said, he said, like, all right, that's on him. He could have kept it pushing. You gotta glorify. Oh, yeah, he can't come in. He can't do. It. Like, it's like relax. you're a rapper. You're cool. You're swagged out. You can get away from just you know being on some cool shit. Once you get to be 40 years old, God forbid, he's almost 50. You gotta sit on Clubhouse. You gotta talk shit. You gotta get by off of uh, having opinions and whatnot. I have a. I'll say this, man. I don't wish anything bad on bro. I never have. I didn't think it was very <clears throat> wise. <clears throat> Excuse me. What he said, of course, initially, I still don't. But the fact that he lives out here, bro, hopefully his children don't live out here. He said he goes between, wait a minute, you got a spot in L.A. and New York? Man, psh, off, of, off of literally two or three songs. Man, I got to start... Psh. But hopefully he doesn't have children that live out here. That's that's what I was about to say. Now, if you got a crib in L.A. and the two most expensive places to live, off of not even him doing those two or three songs, Bobby Bish and then the, the Shmoney Dance probably, and then uh, Hot Nigga, man, psh, not even him. His homeboy, the nigga that was standing next to him. Yo, I gotta get your shit right, man. Opinion, but don't have a negativity towards your opinion. No, like, his opinion be like, his opinion is trying to get me hurt. Like, fuck out of here. Like, well, uh, you could say that your Instagram story post was really what was trying to get you hurt, right? Listen, bro. <laughs> Stop the f that we bro. I'm just saying. All he did was acknowledge no, what he were, read he, and he, offer he, up his he, opinion. You're an instigator, first of all. This is why that should happen. You're an instigator. I could not exist, and the reaction to that would have been exactly the same. I'm an no, it was not. You're the only one that picked that shit up, and then it made my New York niggas pick it up and go crazy. New York drill and all of them. Mm. Like, they were just like, I don't know. I don't even care. You're. My sentiments exactly, bro. Um, I'm satisfied. The nigga who delivered my Uber eats. His ass is weird looking at some other. Food. And he didn't have a neck. He had a neck, but it was one of those like short with the fat on the side. And he looked like slightly deformed. His name was Raul. He was cool. Um, but he was 
was just weird looking. And then um, I'm satisfied, so I really want to go to sleep now. It's Aaron Moses. It's only been seven minutes of this. Uh, dude, he's high. I don't want to watch all of this, but uh, you got a piece of it, though. If you want to see the rest of it, please let me know. Make sure you comment 723 so I know exactly where I am. Um, it is what it is, and not what it's not. It's Aaron Moses on the bang, you the bang. We the bang together, man. Our life is in the breath. I'm breathing in. I should have just went to sleep because I feel a little sick now, but yeah.